everyone. I hope everyone is doing really great today. Today I kind of wanted to do a more laid back video where I just talk about something like my Hoya collection. So really quickly, you might actually be surprised that I even have Hoyas. If you watch my plant room makeover, I did talk about this, but it's something that I just kind of haven't been displaying that I've had. So what kind of happened was, is that I was doing a trade with my friend, the happy place 46 on Instagram and <laughs> she wanted Hoyas. So I got the Hoyas that she wanted and we ended up trading. But what happened was I ended up really enjoying the Hoyas. <laughs> so I got some of my own. So the first Hoya I wanna show is this Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost. And what I really love about it is how really like light its leaves are. It's kind of like um, a platinum look, not to be confused with the platinum Hoya that sells for like 500 bucks but the gray ghost is still really really cool and similar to this one is my nova ghost let me kind of dig her out so i would say between the two this one's definitely my favorite one i like how like splashy its original leaves look here like they're just really pretty and they surprisingly came in like really gray ghost like where they're just like extremely light on these newer leaves and it's probably just because i have them right under grow lights so it probably encourages that not 100 percent sure why or really probably just genetics <laughs> but it looks amazing i'm really excited about it and if you notice i have a bunch of these like circular trellises that i had chris make me they honestly look so great and i'm so excited to see these plants like travel around them i can't wait to show you ones that have more leaves going around because they just look so pretty. And while I'm showing you some silver Hoyas, I'm gonna show you this little tiny compacta here. This is Hoya Carnosa Compacta Jody Silver. And I've had her for a couple months. She hasn't grown yet, but I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that she was still rooting when I got her, so she really had to become more established. I just repotted her recently into pond like all my others because they seem to be doing well. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of just waiting on new growth on her. And I'm really excited to like see that because I feel like an all silver compacta like this is just so cute. Like, I don't know if you can see how cute she is. <laughs> it's funny cause she's just kind of like this little mound right now. But uh, yeah, eventually she'll be more. <laughs> we'll show you one of my other compactas. And if you see hair, I apologize, but that's just my cats. There's no spider mites on these, I promise. <laughs> so I believe this one is the Regalis and I have another compacta, it's the Moana Loa, but right now she's propagating in a prop box somewhere because she came to me really long, but her roots were like just kind of garbage. So she didn't really do anything. But this one is so cute. I really love this variegation. Like it's really adorable. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it like really funny how these guys grow. Like they're just so twisted and naughty. I mean, they're like a nightmare if you get pests, but they're so cool looking. Then there's my Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves. So not much to him at the moment. But these guys grow in so splashy and cute. I can't wait to get more growth on him. So I had just recently given these guys trellises and I've noticed that because I am new to Hoyas, so I wasn't quite sure um, about the need for trellises before, but um, I've noticed the one that I did put on a trellis ended up growing more leaves quicker. So they throw out these vines and leaves grow off of them, which is pretty fun. You can tell how new I am. <laughs> then there's my AH074, which I am obsessed with, especially like this leaf here, like just the darker colors and then the really light edges. I think that looks really nice. I would say a lot of these guys, before I switched them to pond, I was like underwatering really badly. They're not in self-watering pots. They're just in these little tiny um, ceramic planters, but, um, yeah, I just water them once a week and they've been pretty cool with that now. So coming back from that dehydrated life, 
but if you like these planners I have a link in my description. Amazon usually has this thing where you get like a percentage off when you order a pack. So tip, if you want to order multiple packs, place different orders because you could only use the coupon once per order. <laughs> and this sweet baby is my Hoya Parasitica Acuta Splash. Now it's like a mouthful. And I don't know if the, the names like Parasitica and Acuta belong together or they're just two names for this plant, but for a while I called it Acuta and then I found out a lot of people were calling it Parasitica. So that's just kind of where we are here. What I really love about these is how like hard the leaves are. Like Hoya leaves are just so thick and so hard. They feel very exotic, which I think that's just like one of the things I didn't expect getting into Hoyas, like how cool they can really be. And I'm just completely obsessed. Like they're just so hardy and so pretty. <laughs> So, I don't know, it feels really good. And they also do the thing where their leaves expand like ethereums do, and I really like that. <laughs> Moving on up. I have this on just like a tripod because I feel like I would just be a mess without one. So this one is my Hoosh Kelliana Variegata. And, oh my God, she's just the cutest thing. I was initially just gonna let her trail, but I. Like I said, I'm just obsessed with these circle trellises. That is what I decided to do with her as well. I've seen some pictures where they get kind of rosy colors or pink colors on them, and I think that's just if you give it more light. So I think I'm gonna try to do that, but honestly, I just really love her the way she is. So, oh, she's just so cute. Really, really love her. Like, look at those leaves. <laughs> How cute. And next to her, I have my Hoya Carnosa Freckles. And this one's really adorable because it has such a splashy little look to it and it's really cute. Oh, I just love it. Also, do you hear that? I just love how like hard and like thick these leaves are. Like if you don't have Hoyas, I don't think you understand. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, where's another one? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you my favorite Hoya. I'm just anxiously awaiting to get to that one, but I'm trying to like base myself. So this setup's great if you're just like watering and looking at your plants, but when you gotta take them off to show you guys, it gets a little hard. All right, so this one right here is actually, what are you called? There's space for a second. This is my Hoya Matilde. And this is a hybrid between Hoya Carnosa and Hoya Serpens. And it's super adorable. It has these, the daintiest little leaves and it's just super sweet looking. Like it's just the, I don't know. It's the little sister of plants. Like <laughs> she's just so cute. And I actually have a splashy version, which I'm gonna show you next. This is my beautiful Hoya Matilde splash. And if you see here, that is her suffering from my previous underwatering before she was transplanted. So, but yeah, she's super pretty. Splashy life. Gosh, so cute. And this one is randomly on a star because when I first uh, introduced the idea of making trellises for these guys, uh, like a couple months ago, Chris had made me the star and I absolutely love it and it's really adorable but the Hoya on this is my Hoya Pubera, which, oh my God, it is not my absolute favorite, but it is definitely one of them. It has fuzzy leaves. Like, I don't, I don't think you can see how fuzzy they are, but they're fuzzy. Maybe I can try to like sideways this to show you the fuzz. I don't know, I don't know, but it's so fuzzy. It's so cute. It's so adorable. It's the softest thing in the world. I absolutely love this Hoya. It's definitely in my top five. And this one is my Hoya Carnosa Stardust. So this one's very similar to the freckles, except it has more of an abnormal leaf shape to it, I've noticed. And the spotting on this one, the colors and grow lights are a bit different. I feel like it gets a little more pink. And look at that strong growth point. 
Like that's super exciting. But she's really pretty. I definitely think between the two, I love that freckles is probably my favorite, but really I just gotta wait for them to grow out more to make a better judgment of that because I really do love them both. Actually, I'm gonna show you this one first. So this is my Hoya Latifolia. So when I was initially trading plants, this was one of the plants she wanted. So I ended up getting her Latifolia, but I fell so much in love with it that I ended up getting one myself and I love it. <laughs> so this was the original leaf right here. And I just love how like large and dinner plate like it is. Like it's just so cute. Like its new leaves are still really glossy. So you can't quite tell yet, and this one's still growing. But gosh, they're really, really, really beautiful. And now for my favorite Hoya. But this is my Hoya Wyber Gaye. Gaye? I can't say it right. <laughs> but, but guys, pink splash, pink splash. That's where it's at. Like, wow. Look how cute that is. I feel like it's just so exotic looking. I'm completely obsessed. Like, what? What? So it grows in this kind of like, it reminds me of Play-Doh, where it's like a really light green, and then you got like your super splashy kind of fuchsia in there, but then it hardens off into like a darker green. There's still like that pink on there, but uh, maybe you can see the two side by side. But that is so beautiful. I love it. Dang pawn, I don't know if you heard that. It is very rare that I tip them to the side like this and have that happen. <laughs> so this next one is, I'm gonna back this up, my Hoya Chelsea. And isn't she just beautiful? She has grown so much. If you're looking for a Hoya that grows fast, I'll tell you, this one is definitely one of them. I, and she's a complete stunner. Like, I just love her. Like, how are you so cute, girl? I love that it just looks like a, this Roman halo type thing. <laughs> and in front is my Hoya Mini Bell. So she's a little different. I have to Google her growth habit, but I'm kind of just letting her trail at the moment. But I like how long her leaves are. Very nice. And I, I think that's a peduncle, I'm not sure. It's kind of creepy looking. I've had other peduncles on Hoyas I have. Like, let me show you. Like this uh, Thuoensis, it had, this is its second flower actually that it's growing. So kudos, I guess. And <laughs> this is its first leaf finally growing in my care. I'm not sure why it flowered twice before it grew the leaf, but it seems pretty happy. I wish I took more photos of the flowers because they were gorgeous, but I'll definitely take them this time around because I'm just absolutely obsessed. This is definitely one of my favorites. I just love how uneven the edges of these leaves are. It's so cute and they're very thick, like they're very hard. I don't know if you can't tell, but I'm just obsessed with the thickness of Hoyas. <laughs> oh gosh, so cute. I also would love a Kudata Sumatra because I feel like it looks so similar to this, but it's like a little more jagged, which I'm totally for. So back here we have my Hoya Crassipetiolata. And I'm not sure if this is splash or it's just always splash, but yeah, not quite sure how that works. <laughs> but it's so cute. I like this one because it actually has dainty leaves. So it's nice to have the hard, but it's also really cute when you get some little ones like this. Also, it grows like this little rosé, like rosette kind of pattern. And I really, really like that. Like, it's just really cute. So pretty. So I don't know the official name for this, just what it was sold to me as, but it is a Finlay Sony Eye Silver. I know there's like a ton of these with a ton of names, so I have no idea. I feel like these look so prehistoric. I think that's why I vibe with them a lot. Just cause they're so odd looking. 
And I really like that. So I guess going with the notion of prehistoric, I'll show you my other ones that remind me of that, particularly these three in the back. So this is my Hoya Loe province. And I love this. There's just, I don't know what it is about me and the jagged edges, but yeah, that and the veining on these. And then just that little bit of splash just looks so pretty. Wish I could show you the darker one better. But yeah, it's so cute. I love it so much. She's such a little gem, I can't. <laughs> and then there's my Hoya Rang San. So I feel like this is like less jaggedy, but then wider than the Loe province and the veining is less prominent but there's just something about it that just looks <laughs> just as cool. It's just really, really neat. Like, come on, how pretty is that? Sorry if this video is me about just gushing over Hoyas, but I honestly never to talk to anyone <laughs> about these and I just haven't displayed them on this channel. So I'm definitely taking that opportunity right now to just show you my love. And I've been meaning to put labels on these pots. I actually have these cute ones that I'm gonna be putting on the, the bottom saucers, but <laughs> I just haven't got around to it. This, um, I can't remember the name of this. I think it's like Hoya Fu. It's not Wua, cause that's the Fu Wences' old name, but it's something. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen cause I'm just like blanking out at the moment, but she is so cute. I don't know, and it's also nice to like have a change from like aeroids because while I love my aeroids, sometimes it's nice to have a plant that's just like super laid back and not finicky. Not to say if you don't know what you're doing that these won't die on you because for sure <laughs> um, that was a lesson learned here. So while people always say, oh, let your Hoyas dry out, I find that they hate drying out too much and it'll actually dry up your growth point, which is terrible. And yeah, so I definitely lost some growth points because of that underwatering. <laughs> and I have definitely overwatered and only just one time and the plant completely rotted. So you kind of just have to get like a feeling of them. So if you're not into them, just fair warning, if you ever do get into them, that they're actually more temperamental <laughs> than you think they are. Because while I say they're really laid back, they are also like divas if you don't know what you're doing kind of thing. <laughs> but once you do know, it's super easy. <laughs> this is my Hoya Thompsonii. And I love it because like my Pibera, it also has fuzzy leaves, but these are longer leaves and have some splashy on them. I really like the Pubera in terms of its non-splash, but it's nice to have a fuzzy splash as well. Like, I think this one was my top favorite for a while because it's just so cute. You can see little hairs, little splashy hairs. <laughs> he's adorable. He's not, he hasn't grown yet, but he's cute. <laughs> so here is my Hoya Obovada Splash. Even before I got into Hoyas, I always liked Hoya Obovadas and I wanted a regular and I haven't got around to getting one yet, but I did have the opportunity to get this splash form. So I would tell you right now that this is actually a darker leaf. The splashing stays, but my leaves have actually faded and I actually gave it way too much light. I think that's what's wrong with these new leaves here is that they just got a bit too deformed by being under the grow light. So I definitely messed up there, <laughs> but it's super cool. And again, it's like a thick, thick guy. Super neat. Like my thick plants. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like a, a weird giddy mess right now. And then another obovada I have is this Hoya obovada variegata splash. And I don't really like this one as much as I do the regular obovada and the regular splash. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me, but there's just something about it right now that I'm not too crazy about. Like I do, don't get me wrong, like I do love the colors 
So there's just something about it that's just, just not 100% on. I don't know, I can't really put my finger on it. Cause right now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I kinda do like it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And then there's my Hoya Bertonnier. Bertonnier? <laughs> So this one's cool because it has these really dark leaves on the edges and the inside's a bit lighter. So it's really cool. And it has this kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a Halloween-y effect. There's just something about it that I think looks really neat. And if you actually look up here, you can see the two leaves that are actually growing in right now. They're super tiny. And if you look, here he's just so dark it gets me how it gets me how soft like some of these are like it's just like why do you feel so good you know <laughs> also i would like to mention that i have a couple of hoyas that aren't in here that i won't show you today but i'll show you next time they're just kind of like either needing potting or kind of like in a rehab so i have a crimson princess but y'all know what that looks like so I'm not gonna bother with that right now. <laughs> but I'll definitely do like, I'm actually excited to do like a growth update and updated collection video. I don't plan on getting more than this besides probably that Kadata. But yeah, let me quickly just finish up here. This is my Hoya Serpents. And it's definitely suffered from the underwatering. That's why it has really bleached leaves. So it doesn't do a ton for me right now. But I think once it like gets its health back, I'll definitely like it a lot more. Then there's my Hoya Cro, I can never say this like, right, uh, Croniana Eskimo. So she's still a little babe. I'm actually excited to show you my silver. This one you can tell is definitely underwater. It's just sad. <laughs> so this is my silver and she looks beautiful. I'm absolutely thrilled with her. Just look at that. Really pretty. So if you're looking for a trailing plant, this one's a really cute one, just to let you know. <laughs> and that is all the Hoyas that I have in this room. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I <laughs> hope I didn't geek out too much. And I can't wait to show you just updates and then the rest of the couple that I do have. And thank you so much for watching.